Hey everyone, in this video we'll be going through acidic, basic and neutral salts. Just revising our understanding of conjugate acids and bases. So a conjugate base is a product of deprotonating a bronsted acid and it can act as a bronsted base or a proton acceptor. So an example is F- which has been formed from the deprotonation of the HF. And similarly, a conjugate acid is a product of the protonation of a bronsted lowry base and can act as a bronsted lowry acid. So in this case, ammonium, NH4+, has been formed from NH3 gaining a hydrogen ion, and this has the ability to relieve that proton to act as an acid. So in acting as a bronsted lowry base, this species will react with water to produce OH-, and the conjugate acid will react with water to produce H3O+. So bronsted lowry theory is useful because it explains the acidic and basic properties of some salts like NaF and NH4Cl. So acidic salts, why are they acidic? Well, it's because they contain conjugate acids of a weak base. And basic salts contain the conjugate bases of a weak acid. So we'll talk about how this ties in and how we can classify salts as acidic and basic. So this question says to classify these compounds as acidic or basic salts. So we can classify sodium carbonate as a basic salt. And the reason for that is because it contains CO3, which is the conjugate base of the weak acid HCO3 minus. Then we move on to KOCl. KOCl is going to be a basic salt as well because OCl, which is the chlorite ion, is a conjugate base of hypochlorous acid HOCl. NH4NO3, this is an acidic salt because NH4 is the conjugate acid of ammonia, which is a weak base. KF is a basic salt because F is the conjugate of HF, which is a weak acid. NaCH3COO, this one is a basic salt again because this is the conjugate of a weak acid. And NaCl is a neutral salt. We'll talk about why things like NaCl are neutral salts, why KOCl is not acidic, why NH4NO3 is not basic, etc. So the reason for that is because if we look at Na and Cl, both of these ions are the conjugates formed from the dissociation of a strong acid and a strong base. Cl comes from HCl, Na comes from NaOH. Since they are strong, they don't have the ability to act in equilibrium and to reverse the reaction. Na cannot act as a bronsted lowry acid, and Cl cannot act as a bronsted lowry base. So therefore, NaCl is a neutral salt. Similarly, K in KOCl, this could not act as a bronsted lowry acid, and NO3 could not act as a bronsted lowry base to reform KOH, potassium hydroxide, which is a strong hydroxide, a strong base, and HNO3 nitric acid, which is a strong acid. So we talked about NaCl being a neutral salt because its production comes from the neutralization of a strong acid and a strong base. So because both of these are completely ionized, the NaOH and HCl being strong, these Cl- and Na plus ions are stable and they do not reform their strong acids and strong bases respectively. So the relative strength of a conjugate pair is going to be quantified by the relationship which we discussed in the PKA and PKB video. Ka times Kb equals to Kw. The strength of an acid Ka is going to be inversely proportional to the strength of a conjugate base because Kw has a set value of 1 times 10 to the negative 14 at 25 degrees. And similarly, the strength of Kb, the base, is going to be inversely proportional if we use this Ka-Kb relationship. So here we have an example. It says that the table shows the Ka of two weak acids. Chlorous acid is 0.011 and nitrous acid is 0.00041. The question asks us which of the following acids is stronger. And if we remember, the Ka is going to tell us as a better indicator of the strength of a particular acid. So what we can deduce from this is that chlorous acid is a stronger acid than nitrous acid. In this one, it says which of the acid's conjugate base is stronger. 
So we know that Ka times Kb has a particular relationship, it equals to Kw. This means that as we increase the base's strength, we decrease the acid's strength. This means that the weaker acid is going to have a stronger conjugate base, and a stronger acid is going to have a weaker conjugate base. So the weaker acid is nitrous acid. This means nitrous acid is going to produce a conjugate base which is stronger than that of chlorous acid. This question uses the same table and it asks us which of the following solutions has the lowest pH. So the thing about this, the lowest pH means that we are going to have the most acidic solution. All of these are given in the same concentration and they are all monoprotic if they are acids, which means that we are going to be able to compare them. Now, if it's the lowest pH, we're going to be looking at the acids and not the conjugate base salts. So it's either A or B. And the stronger acid, chlorous acid, is going to be our answer, which is B. This question is quite similar. It asks us which one has the highest pH. So as we looked at it earlier, we know that nitrous acid has a stronger conjugate base than that of chlorous acid. And therefore, it's going to be the conjugate base of nitrous acid, which is NaNO2. And our answer is going to be C.